now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. All right, the 7th of February, a Monday. Good to have you along out there. A little freezing drizzle here and there. Be very cautious uh, out there. A number of accidents being reported, primarily west, western portion of the state, but some of that light Pacific is heading this way, so just uh, be careful when you're out there. There's an advisory up till about uh, 10 ish, thereabouts. I'm uh, going to spend a couple of moments with, as you just heard, with the Bristol Community College president, Laura Douglas. Laura, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Heck. I'm well. How are you doing uh, today? Doing okay. Hanging in there. How was your weekend? My weekend was great. Yes, that, very indoors, but that's okay. <laughs> that was okay. Well, it, it was close enough to be indoors. I guess it was not, not a great weekend to be out there with the cold temperatures. And then, of course, we had all that freezing stuff on uh, late Friday into Saturday morning there. That uh, that that provided a little slip and slide, and we got a little bit of that right now with some freezing drizzle, but nothing, nothing. At least, at least that right, right now with nothing all that significant. So that's good. In the meantime, well, we, this is quite a uh, quite a uh, an achievement for Bristol Community College. Bristol Community College has uh, become a vaccinated community. Ninety eight percent of the employees, one hundred percent of the students how about that well you must be proud of that achievement that's for sure yeah you know it's really amazing and it just goes to show you what the bristol community college community uh can do um we went a bit about setting a vaccination requirement back in september uh with all the uh, massachusetts community colleges and that's for those students who are in person, um, and then for all of our employees. And, you know, it gave us plenty of time. Uh, we were able to work with our students as well as our faculty and staff and dispel the myths and hold information sessions and clinics, uh, vaccination clinics, which are very well attended. And, you know, we've been doing a great job in helping to vaccinate our community. So we were really proud when 98% of our employees were vaccinated. Of course, some are able to get accommodations because of various reasons, as you might imagine. Um, but then our students, uh, all of our students on campus are now uh, vaccinated. Students who choose, however, not to get vaccinated can um, uh, learn online and get all of their services virtually. So it's really been great in helping uh, our students who need to be back in person, want to be back in person, to have a very safe environment. Uh, we're having activities again. Um, uh, it really feels great to, to be at this place where we can safely provide a great learning environment for our students and faculty and staff. Yeah, pretty amazing stuff. How did you achieve the requirement? I mean, what I mean, what you? Uh, what, how many requirements were? Was it like a long list of, of, uh, of, uh, I guess, challenges that you had to meet? Well, the requirements are, um, you know, well, first of all, the requirements for our students happened way back in the fall, especially for those students who were in health science programs. So we had to go ahead and institute those anyway because our students involved in clinical instruction uh, and the faculty uh, were required uh, to be vaccinated to go to those sites. And then for the requirement, it was very interesting. Last summer, we, we really wanted to understand how much of our community was vaccinated. You know, Bristol County has had some of the lowest vaccination rates, which is, you know, very concerning to us as a, as a college. Um, but we actually began uh, a process of uploading uh, vaccination cards in the summer. So by the time we got to November, uh, we already had most of our students, faculty, and staff. They had already uploaded their records. Um, 
Um, and of course, we had a deadline for employees to submit for accommodations. It gave everyone plenty of time to work through the process, have a very personal process. Uh, so we're really, we were really thrilled with everything that we started very, very early to make sure we had the capacity to collect these records safely, of course, you know, because we want to make sure that we're protecting people's privacy as well. I'll tell you, yeah, you, and, and you know, and, and there's some controversy, obviously, with with the vaccinations, uh, and most of us were hoping every everybody would get vaccinated and and would get the booster shots, only because uh, the science is there. But you know, I, it, you you do, uh, you, you you know, you do have some of uh, you do have some folks who don't uh, tend to agree with with the science, so it, it's yeah. tough. Yeah, we've had very little pushback um, from students and our employees on the requirement. Uh, it's it's amazing how at the you know we all read about you know how when employees or students you know, are faced with a choice. They typically take the choice to continue learning and continue working, and that was certainly the choice for our employees. But we also have a great health sciences staff uh, that really walks students and employees through the benefits, you know, what are the, you know, what are your concerns, uh, really dispelled a lot of the myths because unfortunately there's a lot of misinformation uh, out there. So, uh, you know, we saw really great results across all the 15 Massachusetts community colleges as well. Uh, and we're just very happy to, you know, especially when we think about summer and fall now that we're hopefully over the Omicron variant, uh, you're getting over that Omicron variant to think about a more normal life, a more normal studying environment is really what our students need, especially those students in high school who now have been in a pandemic for two years and they're really looking forward to a normal college experience. All right. Well, now how, how did it all fit into, you know, this uh, becoming uh, a vaccinated community? How did that fit in with the Bristol strategies anyway? Well, you know, first of all, we, you know, part of our mission is to provide access to college education and training such as uh, you know, high school equivalency and English as a second language. And it's very difficult for uh, students to come to college, learn at college, if they don't feel that they are safe or that the environment doesn't is not conducive to, to their learning style. So some students just are not doing well in an online learning environment. So this really fits very, very well with our mission. And, uh, you know, we've also, I think we've taken a very, a much stronger public health role through this whole pandemic heck. Uh, you know, we started out very early with um, vaccinations for our first responders and then it moved into vaccinations for our community and now boosters. And of course, we've been doing uh, uh, the free public um, COVID-19 testing um, that's, of course, through CIC Health. We're not doing it ourselves, but we're hosting uh, that free testing on our Fall River campus. Uh, we need to do everything we can to mitigate the risk of this pandemic, and it's exciting to play such a significant role in the health of this very important community we call Bristol County, Massachusetts. Yes, indeed. Well, I got to tell you, congratulations. It was just a, a, a tremendous effort, and uh, you know, I'd be congratulated for all, all the great work that Bristol Community College uh, has done through this uh, rather difficult time for lots of us. We're talking what? Uh, we're talking more than almost more than two years now of a uh, non stop challenges and Bristol has been there and congrats uh, to uh, to you uh, Laurie and to the entire team I know you got lots of folks uh, working on this and uh, in and trying to make this a uh, uh, well I I mean when you think about all what you offered over the uh, over the last uh, months I mean you uh, you offered uh, vaccinations you offered the booster shots you did the flu shots and you did testing as well so pretty heavy duty stuff yeah, but it's all about safety and keeping everybody healthy and and just a very personalized approach. I also should really thank our HR area, human resources, 
you know, when we didn't hear back from employees and students, you know, we've reached out to those folks and our student services, a lot of very personal approaches, phone calls, you know, making sure that every single individual knew exactly what was expected and had the help along the way. So it's a great team at Bristol Community College, Heck. Yeah, all right, indeed. Thank you, uh, President uh, Laura Douglas. I hope your family as well. Everybody's doing okay. Everybody's doing great. Thank you. All right, excellent. You uh, will be in touch. You take care. Thank you. You too. Bye, Heck. All right, there she goes.